Hi, this is Ron Edwards, Master Sommelier and Director of Wine Education for Winebow. I want to point out a great bottle of wine from Barolo, uh, from the legendary family of Da Milano. Uh, this is the Le Cinque Vigne, and this is uh, a wine that is kind of the traditional approach to Barolo. Um, not that the crews aren't important, they are important, and we should see single uh, vineyard bottlings from those crews, but they're before that, they blended across the region to create wines of balance and prestige. And this is one of those items. It's a, it's a wine that it takes five vineyards to make a wine this good sort of thing. And because this wine brings in vineyards from Barolo, the village itself, for um, probably the elegance in the wine. Uh, and then from Green San and Cavour, which is one of the areas that belong to the, the Count Cavour, who's kind of given a lot of credit for making Barolo what it is today. And that's a fruity style of, of uh, grape source. And then there's Monforte, which is all about structure, and Novello, which is all about tannin, and Verduno, which is um, traditionally giving you grapes that have this sort of velvety texture at the end of the winemaking process. So take all those, blend them together from year to year, and you get this bottling. This is a 2015 bottling. Uh, let's see what it tastes like. As I expect from Nebbiolo, it's all about savory first and fruit second. It's soy sauce and it's sage and it's dried herbs and it's cedar and it's sandalwood. Leather and dried rose petal. Then comes the uh, uh, dried cherry cranberry, craisin, uh, red currant sort of approach to the fruit. There's some raspberry in there. And then the, this wine doesn't see much in the way of new oak, but there is a, a, a window dressing of wood tone to the wine that definitely comes from the oak aging. It's just sort of, it's hard to define. It's just sort of, you notice it's there, um, sort of just the reminiscent smell of, of uh, barrels. This wine is as expected. Nebbiolo is a wine that isn't shy. It's, it's coming at you. So expect that grip, expect the tannin, expect the acid, the, the, the tartness of the wine to really be forefront. This wine is, however, really balanced where the grip of the tannin in this wine is really on that seesaw between the tartness of the fruit. And it's just sort of bouncing back and forth and then finishes drying from the tannin. Um, you, the f flavor profile follows the nose. It's cranberry and craisin and, and um, red currants, fresh. There's a little bit of pomegranate seed in here. Um, the fresh cherry is definitely there, but it's really more about the savory than it is the fruit. It's the soy, it's the sandalwood, it's the dried sage and herbs to cook with and make a sauce. It's the potpourri and dried rose petal and then the fruit is there um, to support all of that. And that's what I love about Nebbiolo is that it comes to you with all those things that sound like you're having a meal instead of drinking wine. So you're, uh, making a, ro a beef roast, you're uh, throwing some steaks on the grill, you're maybe you're making mushroom risotto this week, or um, you're like me and our family has uh, uh, a tradition of uh, homemade gnocchi with uh, gorgonzola cream sauce around Christmas time. This wine is right there for you. That's what it's all about. Um, you have to love Nebbiolo like me to sort of drink this as a quote unquote glass of wine. It really begs to be on the table. Uh, at least that's the bridge for most people. I'm perfectly happy with it just the way it is. And I hope you are too. Please go find a bottle of Damilano, the Cinque Vigna, and try it today.